the violence that Jack was talking about. Community leaders are responding to the shooting that happened Saturday, one involving a 12 year old boy. WMAR 2 News Janae Wright is live on Maisley Court where the shooting happened. And Janae, can you tell us what is happening there tonight? You know, it's actually a beautiful sight, Jamie and Kelly. Not only are members of the organization We Our Us gathering behind me, but some of the neighbors have already come outside to talk with some of these men. And this is an effort and a response to the shooting that happened when a 12 year old boy's life was taken this Saturday. My nephew liked the TV, YouTube, he liked to ride bikes. Police confirmed that Jalen Richards is the 12 year old boy who was shot and killed Saturday in Maisley Court. He was in the sixth grade at Westport Academy. One of the neighbors who heard the gunshot says she's not hopeful that things will change. They're terrible. I mean, they're out here hanging with the older boys, but there ain't nothing that, that anybody can do unless their parents do it. City leaders are calling for parents and adults to be more involved with the youth and to be a positive example. It's extremely important uh, for the parent to be involved and engaged in that child's life. You should know who your children's friends are. Um, you, you should know what they do, who they're connected to, who they're associated with. Neighbors we spoke with don't think that some of the plans the mayor has for the city, like the summer curfew, are going to be very effective in reducing youth violence. I just know it's not because he had a curfew here a few years back and it didn't work. So why would one work now? And once again, the organization We Our Us is out here. They just now are gathering. In a moment, they're going to go into the community and talk with neighbors and talk with the family to let them know that they have their support. In Baltimore, Janae Wright, WMAR 2 News.